Kim, was that the kind of game you expected, and, and, and what were the high points for you? It looked like you all really had to grind through and, and, and win it at the end. Yes, you do expect a game like that. I told you Florida and LSU are so similar in what they do. The first thing that you're going to notice when you watch us play is uh, the two teams play is, guys, that's two good defensive play teams going at it out there. Um, the second thing I thought that was big for us today, other than the win, the win is the most important thing. How about our post players? I've been challenging them. I've been uh, – they've heard all the criticism, you know. They know we have great guards. But look, what, 11, 13? Were they 11 for 13 in there? Um, you know, those are big, big buckets for us. And we know they rebound. We know they defend. But – there were critical moments, even Hannah Gusters in Iowa, those guys coming in when, when the two starters were in foul trouble to go in there and demand the ball and get some offensive putbacks. That's all you ask. And I just thought with how poorly we shot it on the perimeter, those guys' buckets meant a great deal to our team today. Coach, when you look at the field goal percentage throughout the game, 33% from the field, uh, 0 for 8 from 3, what does it say about this team to still be able to pull out a win against a ranked opponent? Well, it says what I emphasize. You're not going to shoot the ball good sometimes. So what are the two things y'all have heard me preach? Field goal percentage defense and rebound the ball. And that's how you won today. Um, we didn't shoot it well. I mean, look at it. Kayla Pointer, one for 17. Lex, five for 15. Cherry, three for 15. The good thing for them is don't stop shooting it. Don't stop shooting it. Um, why would they miss that many today? I think it's the defense. You had two teams that have guards that just go at each other. And uh, you get fatigued. And um, that's why I go back to what I just told Jim. We had to have some good post touches today, and we did. Faustine, can you talk about your performance today and teaming up with Autumn to put up the numbers you did, and in particular the final sequence when you swatted the two shots there? Um, yeah, I think uh, I just had to step it up today. Um, these past couple games, I haven't been, you know, been playing my best, and I knew how big this game was going to be. Um, offensively, I just kind of let that come. You know, coach emphasizes, you know, getting in there, so I try to just capitalize on every possession. And defensively, you know, I'm I'm the last man standing in the paint. I got to defend the paint, and doing that, um, the last two possessions, I just thought, you know, getting out the air and just swatted, and I was able to do that. Hey, coach. What was the message you gave to the team before today's game, knowing you suffered a loss against Florida nearly a month ago? Well, the message was not that loss. The message was you have an opportunity if for four days. We don't play again until Thursday, right? You have an opportunity to be in sole possession of second place in the SEC. I don't think the seniors have ever been in that position. Uh, the message today was this could be one of the most memorable days of your life in basketball because you're going to play in front of about 14,000 people, and you've never done that. So it was all about things that they could potentially experience for a two-hour period here at their school. Alexis, would you talk about going against those guards, Smith and Bowden and the rest, and, and, and – you know what your mindset is and what you try to concentrate on doing what was the second part of the question the, the uh, uh, going against those uh, the guards florida's guards and what your mindset is when you're going against tough defensive guards like that what you try to what you try I mean, to do. it was a physical game i, I feel like uh, when you're playing against guards like that you, tr you really want to try to get them in foul trouble i feel like I, we didn't we didn't do our good job at attacking them offensively. Like, we didn't match their energy. Coach Moki told me I was soft tonight and I got to get stronger. And, um, I mean, it's just another game. We came out on top. It was a great team win. Coach Moki gave them a lot of credit defensively. They're, 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 they're okay. And Kim, I wanted to ask you, um, at, toward the end, did you, did you say have any special instructions for Faustine to, like, stay in the paint and look? For no, them let too? her answer that. <laughs> um, yeah, I messed up on that. Um, I shouldn't have left her wide open. I was supposed to be guarding her. And, uh, <laughs> that is yeah. the first three she's ever shot. Yeah, that was my bad. Okay, that but it doesn't bad. matter. <laughs> you need to be out there, yeah, Faustine. Yeah. You don't – you know, a blind squirrel will find a nut every now and then, right? <laughs> That's basically it. If you leave somebody – hell, I can go out there right now and hit a three probably if you leave me wide open. So <laughs> she got my wrath when she came to that timeout. I'm like, you're double-teaming somebody inside the paint? We don't want them to shoot threes. So, Yeah. 
Faustine had, you know, just that little moment. Yeah, it's not going to happen again. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but, but Faustine, would you would you talk about those specific plays? Uh, I mean, did you feel like they were going to try to attack you on those when those two blocks? Oh uh, well, at first I thought they were going to shoot the three, but when I saw them driving and you know they had to beat, I had to be the, the last man defender and uh, just kind of going up there and kind of getting my hands up, waiting till she got in the air, so I was able to swat it and I was able to do that. Faustine, uh, uh, I saw Tamika Johnson after the game, and we both, we both said this reminded us of when she played. You know, the kind of the crowd, the atmosphere, and everything. Uh, again, y'all, this is the latest chapter of the kind of thing y'all haven't experienced much in your careers here. But could you just talk about wh what it, what it was like today? Oh, it was amazing. Like you said, like I've never experienced something like that. And coming out it was like thirteen thousand, at least more than that. And the energy was great the whole time, 40 minutes. So having that type of crowd with us um, the whole game and staying with us and never giving up on us, it felt great playing in front of them. Alexis, can you talk about just the importance of your free throws down the stretch? It seemed like you were shooting all the free throws there as they were trying to, you know, come back on you. Free throws win ball games. Yes, sir. <laughs> I knew they were very important. Uh, not to bring up when Foss um, let the girl get the three, but it's, it's fine. Okay. It's okay. Cause I had your back. I had your back. I was going to make the free throws. I was going to make the free throws. But it put a lot of pressure on me. But I just went up there and knocked them down. Deep breath and went, you know, one, two, three, knocked them down. Looking at Coach Moki, she winking at me. Yeah, you need to make these free throws. So I did it. The thing, uh, Jack, you need to know, she missed one the previous time, if you'll remember. That would have put us up four. Mm -hmm. And then I called a timeout. Or the other lady um, for Florida called a timeout. This is the thing about Lex, and I love about her game. She can handle anything. She goes, that's a big miss. She, yeah. she understood. A three ties it. So that's what competitors do. You don't have to, you know, she knew. Uh, so that, that, and you want the ball in her hands. Uh, you know, she can make knockdown free throws. So. Uh, Alexis, I saw earlier you were shaking your head talking about how you and Kayla play collectively, but you still finished with a game high 20 points. What were you and Kayla talking about with each other during the game? We just had to keep playing and playing through adversity. Uh, we felt like the refs weren't on our side, and we felt like we were missing a lot of shots, so we were just trying to keep keep each other encouraged. Like, we just got to keep going and keep fighting, and, you know, we got a battle on our hands. Like, we knew we had to go to war tonight. It wasn't going to be an easy win for us. So we were just keeping each other up, and, you know, we're the leaders of the team, so – you know, they go as we go, so. And, Coach, you talk about how you always tell them to, to shoot no matter what, but how much more difficult is it to encourage that mentality even with that kind of a struggling day? I don't have a problem telling them to shoot. I, we wouldn't be 25 and 4 without those kids, but I'm certainly going to always acknowledge the difference in the game. And the difference in the game came down to post touches today and post finish, finishes. Uh, but we still got enough perimeter shots because that's who's, you know, brought you to the dance, really. And yet we'll dance with a post player when we need to, and we danced with them today. We did the two-step and Louisiana Saturday <laughs> night and whatever else we had to do, but they brought it. Those post players were big for us today. Yeah. I know she played the rest of the game, but how is Jalen Cherry feeling after hitting her head in the first quarter? She's out there doing the, what's that dance she the gritty, likes? The gritty. The gritty, <laughs> so she must feel good. She's out there photo bombing and whatever else, people's pictures out there. So, yeah, she's, she's fine. Well, that was, I was going to ask you about that. She didn't shoot the ball well, but there was one play, I think, in the fourth quarter where she dives on the floor oh, for the ball. Oh, big. And, you know, gets the. Big. And, and you know, um, that's, I can't judge these kids on anything but the time that I've had them. And that's the effort that I've had every time. Every time. And that was huge, because she laid out and dove for that ball, and we had the possession arrow. And big, big time. Can't, can can you never figure a player's gonna, like her, like Pointer's gonna struggle to shoot like that, but you had to, you had to figure they weren't gonna be trying, they were gonna be trying hard not to let her score 35 against them again. So were, were the post players, were you thinking, okay, your advantage is inside with the post players? Were you, were you trying to play that up? Well, I, wa with? I walked down there. Foss and Hannah were together on the bench down there, and, and it came out of my mouth wrong. I was trying to tell them we haven't missed really at that point but one shot. Maybe, you know, and I said, 
when you get your chance to go back in there, you have to demand the ball and make us throw it in there to you. And I think Hannah went in there and got a, uh, you know, uh, demanded Hannah. the ball and finished, mm -hmm. and she missed the free throw, I think. But that's just – that's big in order for us to go deep in the SEC tournament, in order for us to go deep in the playoffs, is just just keep just keep grinding, just keep giving us a little bit more. Um, and and Kayla was being guarded by who all night? Who guarded her? Smith, right? Mm -hmm. Have you looked at Smith? That girl is cut. That girl is strong. That girl's a senior. Imagine bringing the ball up, pressing you the entire game. You're going to get tired. I thought every shot, with the exception of a few, were good shots for Kayla. Uh, shoot it again. It'll go in. Shoot it again. Uh, where I would get aggravated is if they stop shooting it. If you stop shooting it, then she's gotten the better of you. And she didn't stop shooting it. We didn't stop letting her shoot it. We were running things, and then I'd say, let Lex do it a little while. Now you go do it. Coach, uh, in the back here. I noticed going back to Cherry for a second, there was a few times where he gave her just the kind of stay calm, you know, don't worry about it. How much is just that reminder to, to play ahead and not play backward, helpful in tight ones like that? Well, this? it is helpful for Cherry, okay? Cherry is her own worst enemy, her own worst critic, whether it's a missed shot, whether it's a turnover. And this is the only year I've had her, okay? I can't judge her on previous, but I've heard so many compliments about how she has been able to manage her emotions better. And there was one possession, and I, I'm, I'm going to take responsibility for this, where we were up six, I think, and I was trying, it means nothing to y'all, but I was trying to run low stack green, and all that is is use up the shot clock without going out to the top and running red. And then you can take a layup at any time, but get it under 10. And she took an off-balance shot there in front of us. I should have called a timeout during that possession. I should have called a timeout and gotten us a better look. But she felt it, and she still, you know, hung in there on the defensive end. Thank, Thank you, guys. 